Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle right in, because we are going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. Reusing rockets is critical for SpaceX to achieve its more ambitious missions. The company is developing the Starship, a giant stainless steel ship designed to send humans to Mars and beyond. The ship can ostensibly be refueled on Mars, enabling astronauts to return home. But that also requires the technology to ensure rockets can land and then take off again. SpaceX's rocket reusability program is a long-term investment. It can be hard to quantify the overall savings due to the myriad of factors at play. Musk noted in March 2017 that the company had spent over $1 billion in reusable launch technologies, which meant the firm also needs to recoup the development costs for the reuse program, rather than directly passing on those savings to the consumer. At this point, SpaceX could claim to be both a rocket company and also a maritime shipping company. The company owns a fleet of drone ships for the purposes of providing their rockets with a safe place to retrograde land in the ocean without having to splash down. In the past, they actually had additional ships for fairing, catching, dragon capsule recovery and other support efforts. But now, the company welcomed its newest drone landing ship with an announcement by Elon Musk on Twitter. Welcome to the SpaceX, a shortfall of Gravitas. SpaceX would prefer to fly its rockets back to the launch site, saving them time and expense of dispatching one of its floating landing pads and a fleet of recovery ships. But most of its satellite delivery missions won't have enough fuel left over for the rocket to make it back to land. SpaceX has been developing their technologies over several years to facilitate the full and rapid reusability of space launch vehicles. The project's long-term objectives include returning a launch vehicle's first stage to the launch site in minutes and to return a second stage to the launch pad following orbital realignment and atmospheric re-entry in up to 24 hours. SpaceX's long-term goal is that both stages of their orbital launch vehicle will be designed to allow reuse a few hours after the return, technically known as an Autonomous Spaceport Drone Ship, ASDS. The A Shortfall from Gravitas will join two other active ASDSs, just read the instructions, and of course I still love you. The newest ship supported its first mission on August 29th. This was the 23rd Commercial Resupply Services mission, the latest in a series of launches for NASA that sends cargo to the International Space Station. A shortfall of Gravitas is a notable upgrade over previous ships. SpaceX explained during the mission launch live stream that it improves over its predecessors with a fully autonomous operation procedure. That means it can travel to the sea, find its position, receive the rocket, grab the rocket with an octo-grabber robot and return it to land, all autonomously. Founder Elon Musk unveiled the newest floating rocket landing pad on Twitter Friday, July 9th, along with a dramatic video from a flying drone ship circling the ship. Autonomous SpaceX drone ship, a shortfall of gravitas, Musk wrote succinctly in the post. The drone ship is fully automated with no tugboat required to take it out into the Atlantic Ocean, nearby SpaceX's typical launch site at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, he added in another tweet. Previous ships required a tugboat to pull the ship out of the correct location. SpaceX used the tugboat for the new ship's first outing, with full autonomy planned later. The Falcon 9 lifted off from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida at 14 past 3 a.m. Eastern Time. The rocket launched a Dragon capsule containing over 4,800 pounds of crew supplies and scientific research supplies. The booster successfully landed on the new ship stationed in the Atlantic Ocean just over seven minutes after liftoff. Musk's image, which shows the ship and the booster on the sunlit water, was previously shared by SpaceX three days after the mission on September the 1st. It's SpaceX's third autonomous drone ship currently in operation. Just read the instructions. This ship, which entered use in 2016, supported launches from the Vandenberg Air Force Base in California, operating off the west coast of the United States. It moved to Florida in 2019. Of course I still love you. This ship, 
first entered use in 2015, initially supporting launches from Florida by operating off the east coast of the United States. In February 2018, Musk told Florida Today that SpaceX will use the third ship to support more frequent flights from Florida. With its successful mission last month, the new ship has become the first to complete its first attempted at landing. But while it may prove useful for SpaceX's short-term plans, Musk has different goals in mind for the longer term. The under-development Starship rocket, designed to take over Falcon 9 operations, may return to Earth with a giant grabbing arm, dubbed the Mechazilla. If successful, it would represent another major breakthrough for the spacefaring firm. The new ship will be put in place in Florida to support Atlantic launches of Falcon Heavy and the flagship rocket of SpaceX, the Falcon 9, that regularly sends Starlink broadband satellites to orbit and NASA astronauts and cargo to the International Space Station, among other customer requests. SpaceX's next expected launches are a Starlink set sometime in July from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California and the CRS-23 ISS cargo mission from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. On August 18th, SpaceX is ramping up launches of its Starlink satellites in California, requiring more drone ship support to catch the reusable stages of its rocket. Meanwhile, ASOG will work in the Atlantic alongside SpaceX's other drone ship, just read the instructions, which moved to Port Canaveral from Port of Los Angeles in 2019. It appears the drone ships may work together to catch reusable side boosters from forthcoming launches if a Twitter conversation in 2018 still holds water, so to speak. Back then, Musk said a third drone ship was under construction, like the other two drone ships. ASOG is named in honor of work from the late science fiction author Ian M. Banks. ASOG's arrival also comes as SpaceX is ramping up work on its Starship prototype series that it meant to test out a spaceship that could one day be used as the backbone of a Mars settlement scheme by the California company. SpaceX hopes to do an orbital test of Starship soon and was targeting July, but it's waiting on certification from the Federal Aviation Administration in a process that typically takes months at the least. Starship launches from nearby the village of Boca Chica, Texas. Ultimately, the release of the third ship simply means that SpaceX is continuing to invest in its reusable rockets, which is good because it makes flying cheaper and more sustainable and moves space missions forward. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until next time.